Hello and welcome back to Anchor Designs. I'm James and today I had a little bit of a request from a Instagram follower a reference to uh, watermarking images on Fusion 360. So I'm going to show you how. It's going to be hopefully a nice and quick video for you guys to watch. So let's jump right in here. So uh, what we're going to start off with first is create a sketch and on this plane here which is good i'm then going to go up to the two point rectangle from here and this size is typically what you want the physical part um, to actually become so my uh, meteor wood lathe tag wants to be 80 millimeters by 50 millimeters create that there what i am going to do is remove the dimensions and constraints because they really annoy me so we're still in 2D and we have our desired part sizing here. So we're going to go up to the top ribbon and we're going to go down to canvas and I'm going to go insert from my computer. I save everything on my desktop here and up here is the Meteor wood lathe. I've been doing some other stuff as well uh, but today we're going to be working on this Meteor and we're going to select that into our square like so. Uh, all this you don't need to worry about, just click OK and there we are going to have our watermark canvas. So we're going to stay in the same axes um, and we're going to select and we're just going to start drawing around this. So uh, I am going to um, do this video as kind of you've already got a rough idea on Fusion. I don't want to get into doing Fusion um, uh, details and bits and bobs like that. Uh, what I will do is I'll power through all of this um, and then we'll see the um, the kind of the finished product uh, on there because you're more than likely not going to be making a Meteor logo tag. <laughs> okay, let's power through everything. Okay, so we have now drawn through everything, which is looking swanky, looking pretty good. Um, now we need to kind of think to the future, which uh, is me basically saying is how are you going to, or what are you going to do with this uh, when you've drawn this up? Are you going to send it to a CNC router? Are you going to send it to a subcontract uh, laser cutters? What are you going to do with it? And the reasoning behind it is, if I was to uh, cut this, or you know convert this into a step file or dxf whatever um and they were to then import it what's going to happen is is that these middle bits here that look like the you know obviously they're, they're meant to be there um you know what what is actually going to happen because without this uh and when everything falls out you're going to be missing the um your half moon within your r and all of this will be cut out as you can see everything that's highlighted it's always a a good basic tip to uh to to look out for is you're going to miss these so what we're going to do here is just make a bridge uh nice and simple here like so i'm just powering through this 
I've just gone over there and then we're just going to trim like so trim this piece like so and now you can see you can do these a lot thinner depending on what you're doing um, just you know something to bear in mind and we're just going to do this little fella over here did that go? nope okay so now we have our safe and manufacturable logo so we're going to keep these middle bits in here and it's going to look pretty good and then from this point onwards all we're going to do is extrude this uh, this is going to be out of some uh, I'll, I'll do it out of three mil so you can see it a little bit better on the um, on the footage here but we're then going to be able to pan round and we can see that this is now a solid Uh, here's one that I just did a little bit earlier on, bit of a Blue Peter moment, and as you can see here, I made a little bit of a nicer job. Just going around all those contours. Um, so then when you come to export this, uh, you, you don't need to do anything with this watermark. It's not going to uh, affect any step or DXF files. It might affect others, but I just use step and DXF. Um, but I've never had any problems with that. It is just a invisible canvas. So um, just ignore that if you are going into step or DXF or I think DWG doesn't have any, uh, any problems with. Uh, but there we have our manufactured part ready for its second operation and then ready to bolt onto your newly restored meteor wood lathe and that's going to be a wrap for this one guys thank you so much for watching hope you uh, got a little bit out of this one if you're interested in seeing more of these videos let me know and uh, i do take requests and uh, stay safe stay positive and i'll see you next time